Hello everyone, Jeremy here. If you've never seen any of my channel before, I am a huge Supernatural fan. I do movie reviews, but I also did every single episode of season 11 last year, or technically this last year and this year, of Supernatural. Even though at one point I moved away, I moved 400 kilometers away from where I usually live, and I had to go to extreme circumstances to see the episodes. Either way, um... So, season 12 is coming. Now, if any of you have watched any of my previous videos, I am a little bit on the fence about this, mainly because we just had probably the two most powerful antagonists ever, at the same time, fight each other, and then we bring in the big mystery, the big what if, we revealed who Chuck was, and then Chuck and the darkness went against each other, and that was probably the biggest climax we've ever had since season 5, and now we're going into this territory with their mother back and the men of letters apparently mad at Sam and Dean. So, least to say, the threat level went from like here to it's gone. So that's some issue I do have with this season of coming up. It's I'm a little bit afraid that I'm just not going to have any tension. I was thoroughly into season 11. I couldn't believe how much I actually cared about what was going on with the story. I've watched this show ever since I accidentally saw the first episode of the, of the uh, sorry, the last episode of the first season all those years ago, and I've watched it all the time. The only time that I kind of veered off was season 8, but then I got back into it. Either way, I've been through the crap, the good, and the excellent all over with Supernatural, and at least to say I'm definitely going to keep on reviewing these episodes for season 12, I'm going to keep on going until it's over, but the one thing that I'm kind of concerned about is just where this story will go. Obviously the mother is back, what kind of element is she going to add to the story? I honestly don't think she'll add much. Sure, we'll have these conversations that Sam and Dean always wanted to have with their mother back when they were kids, like kind of grow up with their mom. That's going to be this interesting, there's this gap from when they were children to now that they're adults. That was what, 25, 20 to 30 years in between that they have never had with their mother. So now they get to catch up on all this. And that will be interesting. I say that it's going to be cool because it's going to bring up uh, certain elements that they've never known each other, about each other because technically these boys have learned more about their mother ever since she died than they ever knew about her in real life. Like what, we had to wait till season four till we figured out that she actually was a hunter? So all these elements are going to be interesting. She's going to say, well, you know, all oh, there's things about me you may not know and the boys are going to be like, yeah, actually we do because we've been fighting demons, angels, and the epitome of all darkness. So... I have a feeling there's going to be some interesting dialogue elements, no doubt. We're also going to figure out where the heck she's been. Has she been in heaven? Is John there? There's going to be a lot of conversations about their father, too, that will be interesting to her because she doesn't know what happened. At least maybe she does, maybe she doesn't know what happened to John after she died. So, yeah, the mother element will be interesting, but I can, can count to maybe four episodes of that being interesting. Otherwise, it's going to start veering off, and then we're going to go into filler territory. That's the thing that I don't like about Supernatural sometimes, is that there's a lot of filler episodes. If you want to know how I felt, watch Season 7 again. Season 7 was poopy. It had so many filler episodes. So many episodes started off with Dean saying, Oh, we well, got one on the dick. Oh, you got bump kiss. Okay, filler episode start. And that's literally... Mm, that's what I'm kind of afraid is going to happen with this one. I really like season 11 for its constant narrative. Sure, there were some episodes that were filler episodes, but they were still able to bring up the main narrative in a way. It's very much like season 1, which if they keep that, if they keep the same sort of elements, which apparently in several articles I've read is what's going to happen, if the show's going to kind of go back to its original roots, that will be interesting because... That's what made me like Supernatural in the first place. Admittedly, I liked how it progressed. I think the first five seasons are still perfect. Honestly, you could have ended the show after season five, but I'm happy that it's still gone. But that idea of a constant narrative, that every episode does intertwine with each other and it does matter, even if it doesn't have, even if it has like 40 seconds of plot dialogue, that's fine with me because that's what I liked about this show is it had this narrative purpose to it and it lost it in season 6 and season 7 and season 8 almost. So the fact that it came back in season 11 was fantastic. I really hope that they take uh, different avenues with how they create show the episodes again because 
fudge episode uh four which i think was i think it was episode four baby of season 11 was one of the best episodes that supernatural has ever done and that was because they filmed the entire thing in the car jeremy carver had really great ideas and i'm really upset that he's gone but that was his whole plan from season eight to season eleven. That was his plan, and now he's gone, a showrunner. So now they've brought in this new, the other people. I haven't really checked them out yet. I just hope that they don't do what happened to season six and season seven because that was awful. So in the end, I know that there's going to be definitely narrative dialogue between the boys and their mother that will be brought up. Lucifer is still out there. The problem is Lucifer got so dumbed down by the darkness that we. Well, we wonder what happened, because she woofed him out of Castiel, right? So we wonder if Lucifer's been either locked away, he's been, he's been depowered, um, maybe he's been weakened somehow. If he is the main villain again, that will be cool, but it'll be more of the same. We aren't seeing the apocalypse happen, right? We're just seeing Lucifer being a jerkbag. We also got Crowley, who seems to be hanging out with Alex Cooper. That will be interesting i like alice cooper i love his radio show either way um i think this season will be good it won't be as good as the last season unless something absolutely drastic happens but in terms of threat to our characters that's gone that is gone i don't care how threatening the men of letters are they're humans humans are unpredictable sure we've got some great episodes i always think of the benders where dean says Monsters I can deal with, humans I can't. That is kind of an interesting aspect. But in terms of threat, we just had the two most powerful day a entities in the universe fight off against each other, make up, and then fly away. And that's another thing too, is God says he's gone, but I swear they have him on back burner. That's the thing too, is that the threat is gone for the boys in my opinion, because God can come and help them out because now they've made that connection. So we'll see what happens. I think that the season will be entertaining. I don't think it will be as engaging in terms of a threat level as the last season will. Definitely not. But I still feel that we're going to get some good narrative aspects from the mother. Is it something that I wanted from this show? Not really, because I kind of liked how we already had these elements of Dean going back in time and meeting their mom. But uh, aside from that, we'll see what happens. Anyways, that's my thoughts on what's going to happen in Season 12. I have a feeling Lucifer may play a part. The Men of Letters will be a villain, but they won't be for a villain for long. If they are, they'll be kind of this coming back and forth villain. Crowley, I don't even know. I can't see Crowley as a villain anymore after Season 8 or 9. I think it was Season 9 that he was main villain. No, Season 10, sort of. So after, yeah, I can't see Crowley as a villain anymore. I can kind of see him as the friend they hate, the one they want to kill, but they still need. So, either way, that's my thoughts. Apparently, this won't even be the end either, according to an article in Variety, is that they're going to keep on going 300, maybe the last episode. We'll see. Either way, that means that they'll probably go to season 15 at that rate my god anyway guys that's all for me my thoughts uh hope you guys enjoyed this video i kind of just rambled on there i know but i just i want to kind of know what people's thoughts are what's going to happen in this season i know a lot of people are interested in what happens with the mother i know a lot of people are interested in hap some people anyways are interested in what happens with the mental letters but we'll see all i know is that, like i said dramatic level will be not as high but the story and the original sort of aspect of what the show was back in season one and season two may come back here Anyways, that's all for me. Just wanted to ramble on there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.